Hello, everybody. I don't know if you can hear me. I am at Starbucks. And today we're going to talk about setting up your UI for profit in EQ2 for those of you guys who may or may not be coming back to the game for the new TLE server. I forget the name of it, but if you've installed and followed the guide in the description for actually installing profit UI community edition, then you log in and you see something like this, then here's a few simple steps to get you to where you need to be in order to make the game look so much better than the default. So first thing you want to do is type in uh, slash load UI. We are going to load the Profit UI Community Edition. So we'll click that. And of course this game is really poorly optimized. So things do take a while. Plus I may also be running WoW in the background because WoW is the far superior game. There's just a lot of people who play EQ2 that I miss. So I'm looking forward to seeing and chatting with them again. It's been a long time. So, as you can tell, Profit is loaded. You can see some of the things that have already been changed, but everything is in the wrong position. So, next thing we're going to do is type in slash load underscore UI settings, one word. And that will bring up this one. We're going to start off with the default, uh, one of the default skins, whichever resolution you're running. I'm just going to choose 1900 by 1200. And we will see what that looks like momentarily. Thank you for your patience. Alright, so now everything looks like it's in a better position. Um, it's not super great, so we will continue to change some things. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to push F10. That will show the where everything is. It will also make everything movable and adjustable. A lot of these windows are locked by default. So we're going to take our quest journal. We're going to make it on the right side of the window. Right about there. And then we'll take our mini map. Because I like I like to think of it as a mini map, but I mean seriously, who wants a mini mini map? We'll make this thing quite large and we'll adjust our quest journal to fit. There we go. Also make sure you push F eleven. It will show you what kind of frame rates you're getting. If this number is below 30, I would lower your sittings. If it's above 60, maybe like if it's above 80, I would adjust your settings to make it more beautiful. Um, this is going to be all of your buffs that are maintained, like your dots and stuff. So this you kind of want to have in a position where you can see it. Uh, this is I don't know if you can see, let me go ahead and move my this so we can see our chat window. So here's the chat window. I like to make this thing rather large um, because I am blind. All right, and these are our hot bars. We got our spell effects and detriments and some blank screen that I completely forgot what it is, but it's been a long time since I played this game. Also, we got your target window and implied target window. Um, it doesn't look like, okay, let me target something, there we go. So we're gonna put this right here, so that way it is dead center, and I wish I could get an implied target, but we'll have to, you have to wait till you actually target somebody who targets something else, unfortunately. Oh, you know what, I can load up my pet, and then once my pet gets a target on, the rat. So let's go ahead and go through this quest. For those of you who are new to EverQuest 2, typically um, the first option in the quest menu will be the default advance everything uh, option. But it looks like this screen got moved down just a little bit, so we will put it back to where it needs to go. Alright. I'm going to help with this guy find his hat because people lose their hats all the time and you notice I have wings but I'm falling down to the ground that is not okay so we are going to open up our knowledge book with K should we loot all here and we are going to turn on the wind walking 
No, that's not what it is. Why? This is why the thing out here is. But when walking is good to have on your hot bars because you want to always move as fast as possible. There's your hat, buddy. I'm glad I could help. Thanks for the charm that I don't even get to keep because this lady is greedy and wants all of our loots. Um, this is part of the hardest part of the boat quest is you have to talk to the merchant and sell the charm so you can buy the Shard of Lucan. Why this Vim person doesn't just give back the Shard of Lucan, that I don't know, but maybe this is the evil people boat and that's just the way it worked. All right, let's go kill our... So, they give us a club, right? But I already have... Oh, do I, do I use two? Yes, I can. Excellent. Most characters who can't use two weapons, the one they give you is worse than... All right, so we're going to send our pet in. Hopefully he doesn't one-shot it. Oh, there's our applied target window. Perfect. All right, so we'll put our applied target window right here. Excellent, because that way we know who has aggro. So this is your target, and this is who your target is targeting. So like, we target the rat, he is targeting our pet, Vanab. Great name for a pet. 10 out of 10 wood name again. Uh, so I don't know what how I did that. Ah. Oh god, go away. I don't even know what window this is. Alright. We're just going to edit this out of the video so you guys don't see it. I'll move it way over here. Like it doesn't even exist because I don't know what that window is. So, all right. So, moving on. There are a few other things you notice. This whole window right here is completely useless or useful depending on how you look at it. So, I believe that there is a pet window option. Let's see if we can User interface. We want more. I want to add a new hotbar. I think we do that through this thing. So, in order to bring up the menu on the thing, you have to click the number one, and then this little thing pops up. And you go create new hotbar, right? Alright, here we go. So, this hotbar, we're going to oh, not close it. Open new hotbar. We're going to then hotbar settings. We want to show the spinner allow draggable. So we have hotbar number five because we've got one through four right here. Style medium text. Okay, and then we want to bring the size of the hotbar down. What is? In order to make them all the same, we will find hotbar settings. This would be. 32-0, so we'll make them the same. Hot bar settings. That was close. But no cigar apply. We'll also unlock. Uh, we'll also drag it out so that way it is 12 buttons wide, just like the one we have. It's really hard to see. Maybe we'll go F10 so we can see this icon better. All right. So we will take this one. This is our pet window. And we'll move this one right here. But we want this one to be five. All right. Hot bar settings. Show icon borders. That's not necessary. So this should fit right here. If I did it right which it looks like I did. There we go. Okay, so we got hot bar, what is this? Hot bar two, one, four, five. Let's make this, let me just make this one. One, two, three, make this one three, because that's two, four, up is up. All right, so we got two, three, one, two, this will be our pet window. We can put our pet window over here because you're really not going to be messing with it, but it's nice to be able to edit your pet stuff on the fly instead of having to right click 
and do something else. I don't remember how to bring up the pet window, but it's not necessary because we've made our own. So we'll bring our speed buff over here. This is tracking. All right. So now we can go. This is really cool. So if you go to Alt O to bring up the options, we can go to controls. We can go to keyboards, not keyboard, hotbar settings. We'll scroll all the way down. Scroll, 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 scroll. All the way down to where it says banks. All right, we want to delete this because we will not be. This is basically the way you play with one hotbar, and this shifts through. The primary hotbar will shift through all the different hotbars. It's no good. We don't want it. Scroll all the way back up to hot bar number four buttons. Here we are, and we will go shift one, shift two, shift three, and so on. I hope you guys are looking forward to the new TLE as much as I am. And will join us on. I actually have no idea what the name of the server is. Alright, so. We have now done that. So what you want to do is go to whichever. This is really personal preference, but personally, I like the key map to be like this, where it's one uh, hot bar setting. So I would go four, and then hot bar. This one hot bar settings will be three. And this one should. Oh no, this. This one should be four, and this one should be two, three. I think this is right. So we've got four, there we go. All right, so now if we want to do things like, if you hold shift, you can drag. So we're going to put our regular text here. This is. I only leave this on my hotbar so that way I can see that I have it, I am in combat. We'll put our invis there, a bunch of abilities here. We'll bring down our pet down here. And I was wrong. So I like three and two. I like it to be shift, control, and alt. So if you notice, if you notice, these are all. Let's see if I can make it. Is, all right. So we got one through four, or one through twelve, shift, control, and then alt. I like them in that order. Yeah, whichever order, that is completely up to you. Which order you want them in. But this is the order that I use for all of my games. So that is what I am used to. So if I need to um, halt a home, it would be alt uh, equals or alt twelve. Um, and then my regular combat rotation would be simply one, two, three. All right, apparently I'm overpowered. I'm one-shotting mobs, which is awesome. All right, a few other things to note. Um, this chat window is nice, but as you can tell, it disappears, so I can't stand that. So we will go to right-click anywhere on the thing, go to window settings, normal opacity. We want it halfway up. That way you can see through it, kinda. I mean, if you want it fully opaque, there you go. But it's nice for immersion purposes to have it slightly dark. Um, locked, click through, enable, perfect, perfect. All right, so now we can go back to Alt-O. Go to the user interface. Go to advanced, this is very important, you gotta be advanced. So we're going to go to the chat window. And for us blind people, make sure the font size is all the way up. You also want to have the chat message time enabled. So that way, if you're like me and you don't read tells very well, it will show you the tell. So, such as, hello, I don't know, actually, if you don't know what your channels are, there's a simple command slash channel list. And that should show you in one of these what your channel is. Are but maybe not, maybe it's not channel. Yeah, there it is. Channel list. Where does it go? Oh, here we go. Auction Beast Lord General. So, general, be like, hello, 
world. And maybe I don't know how to type. Let's see. Hello, world. All right. So if that happens, that means that you are not actually following any of the channels. So you right click the tab, you go chat options. There you go. Now all those channels are in that one, are in this tab. So if you still can't read it, if you're still too blind, you can go to chat options and make the font even bigger. I believe this is only available per tab. So you gotta go to each tab individually and choose increase font size for all of them. I know I talk too fast sometimes and I get a little carried away with clicking. If there's anything that I didn't explain very well, uh, please leave a comment and I will try and help you out as much as possible. But yeah, that's how I do my initial setup for the new UI using Profit Community Edition. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys on the new TLE server. Uh, have a wonderful day.